Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise Ahaya, everybody. Praise Ahaya. One more time, praise Ahaya from whom all blessings flow. Amen and amen. This is your sister, Carrie Ann, in Yesaya the Christ, Yesaya, uh, the Messiah, Yesaya of Nazareth. If you want to know why I call, why I call God Ahaya and the biblical Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Yesaya, I've done a video concerning that one. Okay, brothers and sisters, greetings, greetings to the 12 scattered tribe of Yashahel. Yashahel is the um is the name given to Jacob, not Israel. So I greet the twelve scattered tribe all over the world in twenty twenty two in the priceless matchless name of our soon coming king, Yesiah, and to the beautiful body of the Messiah, Yesiah, the church. I greet you all in the precious name of our King. Okay, quick housekeeping. Remember, brothers and sisters, my name is Sakarian, solid gray border. In my, around my name when I make a comment if it's not a solid gray border somebody that's pretending to be me that's a dirty devil with who has no shame and you need to rebuke and report them if you're watching this video and you do not know Yesiah as a Lord and Savior please watch the video to the end there's a sinner's prayer there for you and I've also got a backup channel called Petem Pioneering End Time Ministry where we do praise and worship I don't do it as often as I should but um certainly there are videos on there that we worship we sing we praise we pray unto the most high a higher hallelujah for he is worthy to be praised all right on this channel we do something called the top 20 any beautiful brothers and sisters in the most style higher um or comment on any video being the, being the first top 20 i give you a little shout out all right so these are the top 20 beautiful beloveds underneath the powerful video that i did concerning um concerning the guy elmo you should know his name by now where is it gone I don't want to call up, call up his name up in here. You know what I mean? Um, they call him Elon Musk. All right? Elon Musk. But for the purpose of the video, we we'll call him Elmo. All right? Why does it so, look so big to me? All right? We'll call him Elmo. For the purpose of the video, we we'll call him Elmo. The powerful video about this guy befriending black people and what he's going to do. Very, very wicked. Brothers and sisters, you need to watch that video. We'll leave it link in the description box. You watch it for yourself. So these are the top 20 brothers and sisters underneath that powerful video. Hallelujah. Okay. Right. All right. So here we go. Come on, you're not working today. All right. Giselle Cooper. Jada Green, Manasseh Tribe, Shanna Fisher. All right. Hold on one second, brothers and sisters. Just a minute. Oh, when I use my iPad, it gets all tricky. No, that's hold on, brothers and sisters. Just hold on. I do beg your pardon. Um, that's for another video. I'm calling out those brothers and sisters' name. So these are the top. <laughs> these are the top twenty brothers and sisters underneath that video. Concerning Elmo, Elon Nas, referring to black people. Edna Gaiese, Mijal belong to Yasuma, Yesaya Yasuma, Shana Fisher, Emma Scarlet, Delight, Meek Safar I, Stacy and Small, Adiola Sings, Diane Rattingham, Nicole Thomas, Carol Jackson, Giselle Cooper, um, True Diligence, Linny Linny, Honeybee198, Shanice Henry, Jalisa, Jalisa, Hallelujah, Pretty Shade, Pretty Shades of Me, Wakima Carson, Exhibit, Obedience, Zaba Broad Knox, Cherry Hassett, Ernest Carter, daughter of Jerusalem Prior, Angel K, God's Own, Ashley Dinger, and Leronda Joan Bates. These are the top 20. Um, beautiful beloved in the most uh, higher underneath the vid that, that powerful video okay remember to like share subscribe do your thing to help with the reach of this video brothers and sisters okay 
we are near we're not only near to the returning of the beautiful messiah but we're also near to the revealing of the dirty antichrist and the lawlessness of sin we call the lawlessness of sin own all right this is what we call it own all right but the um the dirty caesars just the many brothers and sisters oh <laughs> can't reach but the dirty caesars brothers and sisters call it this n w o all right the new world that they're coming with that's what they call it but when you spin the word around it means own o w n own because what it is satan will own this own entire will own this world for seven years three and a half very very wicked three and the first three and a half extremely crucial but it's a seven year period that dirty satan through the antichrist is going to do his thing all right so the devil is conjuring up a a, a, a new world very very wicked brothers and sisters all right so that's our prophetic theme banner we call we are near we also have a prophetic theme song or prophetic theme song is a song that my mom taught me when i was a little girl also called we are near as well or near you are and the song goes at this oh near you are oh near you are oh near you are oh near oh near you are oh near Oh, now you are, oh, now. hallelujah. Yes, we are near, and we can sing that song with right confidence. All right, brothers and sisters, listen, I'm doing this video, and my heart is literally sad. And I said it to the Lord, I said it before I do the video. I said, Father, I'm so saddened. I don't know. I'm just so sad in doing this video because um, it's, it's a video. This video is a video in the back of the video that I did concerning um, concerning Elmo, concerning this guy and his plan for black people with the UF, with the with the flying saucers and all of that. Brothers and sisters, I had no idea. Oh, I didn't know. Yeah, I had no idea whatsoever. None until when this beautiful beloved sent me that email and that's the most I that allowed this precious beloved to send me the email because i had no idea no idea that these dirty yeah that's what i'm calling them dirty that these dirty so-called hebrew yashahelites they call them hebrew israelites camps out there teaching our people that the way back concerning the regathering, the way back concerning this, all right, um, is via flying saucers. I had no idea. I was so shocked in my spirit, everything, because I had no idea. I had no idea that they're telling our, our people that when this begins to happen, they're going back to the promised land, the land of their forefathers through flying saucers. This, they call them chariots of the most higher. It's a wicked, dirty lie. You must not get into these flying saucers, not under any circumstances. I do not care what your dirty Hebrew Yeshahelah leader have been telling you over the years. You must not, under no circumstances, get on these things. I want you to listen to me very carefully because this message is extremely serious, all right? Yesterday, after I uploaded that video concerning this guy, <clears throat> the serpentine bloodline of Elmo, because he's not a Hebrew. He's of the Cain bloodline. He's of the serpent bloodline. When I done a video about him yesterday and I explained to the brothers and sisters that he's going to befriend a whole bunch of black people. Like, you're going to hear about it, you're going to see it. And the evangelical pastors are going to stick up for him. It's going to be like a second Trump, so to speak, yeah? Telling everybody that this man is sent by the most High, That Elmo, that Elmo is of, is of the Lord and a higher Yesiah have sent him. Very wicked, dirty lie. Let me tell you that from straight off the back. Okay. 
yesterday underneath that video there was some comments that was very very disturbing very very disturbing underneath the video i'm not going to call out this beautiful sister name all right but she's left this comment um underneath the video called extremely important concerning elmo plan revealed i'll also leave that link that video in this in underneath this video this is a comment that the beloved left and i i was just taken back I was taken back. Listen to this comment. This is from the beloved. I don't want to call her name, okay? This is what she says. RJ, don't know who that is. RJ of the UCI. I don't know who UCI is, but I'm figuring out that this must be one of the wicked camps who have been teaching people concerning um, um, the that flying saucers coming for black people to take them back to the promised land so this sister wrote and she says rj of the uci said that too obviously what i'm saying concerning these um flying saucers and the aliens are a fallen angel coming for people i believe <laughs> listen i believe he said that because he smokes drugs he must have how can you tell people to go into flying saucers? How can you do that? You must be on something. You're either a bit demonic or you're very wicked or you're just working for the higher power that be. How much are they paying these people? So she said, I believe that um, that's because you smokes drugs. Watch this. This, this, is, this is a frightening part. This RJ guy from the UCI whatever that is, he told people that they should not be afraid of the flying saucers. Oh, Lord. These are so-called black Hebrew people telling people this. Very sad. I know many people believe. So this RJ guy is telling people, do not be afraid of these when you see these up in the sky. This is dangerous and wicked. He told people that they should not be afraid of these flying crafts and that the beings, the people who are driving or who are flying these are the ancestors of black people. Oh my God. Sad. She went on to say, I watched him for the science, but a lot of the rest sounds off. Ahaya made me stop watching him. Good on you, sister. That's the spirit of the Lord. So this guy, I don't know who he is. I have no idea, but he's called RJ from UCI. I don't know what UCI stands for, but I'm thinking it's a Hebrew Yashahelite. So called, they're called, I don't want to say black Hebrew Israelite, but you know, Hebrew Yashahelite camps, camp. So this person is telling his congregation, is telling black people that when you see the flying saucers in the sky, you must not be afraid of it because it's the dead ancestors of black people driving these, flying these, and these are coming to take you home back to the promised land. Brothers and sisters, I want you to understand that this is a doctrine of devils. This is a doctrine of demons. Nothing new is underneath the sun. However, the Most High took Moses and the ancient Hebrew Yashahelite out of Egypt. That is the same way we're going back to the promised land. But this time we don't have Moses. So he's going to use angels. Angels of the Most High is coming for us. Bible says in that day, Michael, the great prince, shall stand up for the, for the children of thy people. So we know that angels will be guiding us back to where the wilderness is. The woman of Revelation 12. Anybody who is preaching this garbage, this rubbish, this demonic, I don't even know what to call it. I am so livid. I am so upset. I've been working so hard over the years to gather, especially our people back and uh, teaching them about the second um, regathering. 
the second regathering. And I had no idea. I had no zero, zero zilt idea that these people are teaching people that the way back to the wilderness or the way back to the promised land is via UFOs and that black dead and black dead ancestors are driving these craft. Okay. Help me Lord. So after I read that, I said, okay, Lord, this is surely, this is surely a, a gospel from the devil. Because this is not of you. Then this is the comment that I saw that caused me to do this video that I'm doing now. Because I wasn't going to do the video. I read the comment from the young lady talking about this RJ and what of you, you know, telling people black and sister driving UFOs. But this is the comment that I'm going to read that made me do this video. And um, this beloved, I'll call his name or her name, I don't know, Alva Archer. All right, Alva Archer. So this is a comment that rings bell. And this is why I'm doing this video. And this is what the most I, I'm going to tell you what the Lord told me concerning this comment. All right. Elmo, that's our code name for this serpentine bloodline guy. Him with his big plan for black people. Elmo, all right, we'll call him Elmo for short, this one, all right. Elmo, um, he said, the beloved says, hold on one second, I'm logged out. The beloved says that, Elmo <clears throat> is planning to populate Mars. He's planning to populate this planet. You need to look and research this planet and how the dirty Caesar is always telling you, oh, there's a life form here and this is growing here and it's similar to Earth and this all sort of stupidness that they come up with. But, um... Elmo is planning to, to populate Mars with his clo cl clonies, clonies, friends, etc. To get people to enslave them on Mars. Absolutely right, beloved. When I read this, this alone just ring true. The Holy Ghost inside of me just said, this is so true. This is truth that this beloved is speaking. So, Elmo, this one. All right, who well, people saying that he's got got saved, whatever. So this one, this 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 serpentine bloodline person, all right, Elmo, right, have a plan to fool black people. That's what it's all about. That's why he's showing up all of a sudden on the scene. Everybody's talking about this guy. Why? Because he's got a plan. The second Exodus is near. So Elmo have a plan to fool black people mostly and others to get them in the alien. In this, with these people on their craft, their flying saucers. To Mars and other places with aliens. All right. Lots of us have been sold to lots 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 of us have been sold to some of these fallen angels these ones they call them this but we call them fallen angels all right um by our dirty nasty caesars and people like elmo they will deliver people to these beings one way or the other beautiful comment it rings truth i need to find it i need to pin it um and I was, you know, but this comment is just bringing so much truth. Mars. When the word Mars mentioned, <clears throat> when this beautiful beloved mentioned the word Mars, brothers and sisters, the Lord says that he's, I don't know, he, she, I don't know, El, um, the beloved is correct. This is where... 
this is where brothers and sisters this is going you're not going to the wilderness the wilderness is not in the sky the wilderness is not in <clears throat> some other form of dimension um, dimension or what of you but when you if you go into these if you follow these Hebrew Yashahelai camps out there were preaching and teaching you that this is the way to the wilderness. This is the way to the promised land by the flying saucers. That the flying saucers are the chariots of the Most High. You are going to die. You, your children, your family, anybody that goes into these flying saucers. Because the, peop the, the creatures in the flying saucers are literally this fallen angels no no the bible says that the dead and the living has nothing to do with each other so can you or can your dead ancestors where did they get the body from they're not raised from the dead so how can your dead ancestors fly these beings how let me quickly mention this before i forgot because i meant to mention it um in the other video there's a reason why they created the movie black panther and a lot of black people were jumping for joy and this and that but they do not understand the significance and the spiritual impact and the deception of black panther it's a very wicked movie very very wicked movie and the fact that they've got that <laughs> they have that in the movie showing you how black people travel from um from babylon us isn't it because the flying saucer came to babylon us and went back in the skies to some other dimension very wicked movie i've watched it, it took me i tell you when i watch it because i de never want to watch it didn't want to watch it and i only watch it in 2021 uh, and when did that movie came out right and the first time i watched it was in 2021 back end of 2021 and when i finally watched it and i saw it i said okay there's so many things i can break down with that movie it's 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 the deception in it is so wicked and trying to make out that black people this is all we do is voodoo and the occultic because they had those, um, I forgot the name of the stone. The stone or the thing that they dig up from the earth gives them power. It's a cultic. They rely on other power except the most high. They rely on their ancestors except the most high. Very wicked movie. But... I'm going to reveal to you what the Lord showed me concerning that comment um, with that beloved Alva Archer leaving the comment. When I read the comment and the beloved says that the dirty Caesars along with Elmo, all right, along with Elmo, this wicked one, are planning black people's downfall with that to take them to Mars. Mars is a place where they will take them. And when I read that straight away, the Lord says to me, you have seen the movie that the wicked have created called Pitch Black or the Chronicles of Riddick. You need to watch. I don't, I, I don't really promote dirty Hollywood movie on here. But you need to, when you have time, if you have not seen Pitch Black, the, the, the first one, because I think they got one and two. Or, or the Chronicles of Riddick, but I know that it's called Pitch Black. If you have not seen that movie, I advise you to watch it. The reason being, it tells you that a group of humans, a group of passengers was on this. That's how the plot of the movie go. A group of passengers, human beings, was aboard this stuff, this flying saucer. 
something happened and they crash on a desert planet. When you read upon Mars, it's very, very similar to the planet that pitch black have created, so to speak. And brothers and sisters, you know what happened. Those of you who watched that movie, that creatures are on there. I'm not going to mince and I'm not going to mince. I'm not going to mince and I'm, and I'm not going to mix my words. If you so ever, this is for black people who are deceived in those Hebrew Yashahelite groups. Any Hebrew Yashahelite group, so-called, the Bible says, not all are of the house of Israel. Not all are of the house of Yashahelite. There are some people set up because they know that this, the dirty seeds, and you've got to understand how the dirty seeds work. They know everything, brothers and sisters. And the dirty Caesars absolutely 150% know that this is at hand. This regathering of the true seed of Jacob. That Ahaya is going to bring these people back. I said these people, I'm included, but they're going to go back to the land that they were that the four, that was given to the forefathers. It's Bible. It is going to happen. The dirty, nasty Caesar knows about this. The, every single one, even the good old drip, drip, Vladi. All right, drip, drip, Vladi, which is going to lift the lid and tell people who exactly the true Hebrew Yashahelite is going to shock the world. They know it's coming. And so I believe that the dirty Caesars have set up camps. These are wicked, dirty um, Hebrew Yashahelai camps. They're not real. They're not real. <clears throat> but they have a form of godliness. Listen to me very carefully. These dirty, that's, that's what they are. These dirty Hebrew Yashahelite groups, especially in Babylon, US, right, who have set up camps all over the place over there, tricking the people. They have a form, these dirty groups have a form of what? Godliness. But they deny the power of Ahaya. Ahaya has no business, no dealings with dead ancestors. Driving these man-made, man-made, man-made flying saucers. He has no dealing with it. It's not of him. There is nothing new underneath the sun. Where in the Bible did the Most High teach us that the ancient Hebrew Yeshuaites that was underneath the governance of Moses where did the Bible teachers teach us that Moses bought the children of Yashahelai out of Egypt with flying saucer? Where? Why would the most I use flying? Listen to me. This is a plot to kill most black people. And when the dirty sees, because you're so brainwashed with these dirty Hebrew groups that you're not willing to listen to nobody else. Because why? You're brainwashed and you're deceived. You go on that flying saucer with your little babies, your children, your mommy, your daddy, because why? You've convinced them so much that this is coming for us and we're leaving Babylon, US, so to speak, or, I'm using US, or Babylon, Britain. We're leaving Babylon. We're leaving out of Babylon. And we're going back to the promised land through this. You need to watch the movie Pitch Black. That's where you're going. A higher never lies. When I read that comment, this is why I'm doing the video. When I read that comment from that beloved Alva Archer, and when the word Mars came up, I said, ah, the Holy Ghost began to speak to me. He began to speak to me about this. And he said, tell my people, if they go on this, pitch black is what's waiting for them. How can you? How can you? How can you? After all, after all, 
that our people has been through 400 years of slavery. Our ancestors have been through so much. And after all that, you are telling, you're teaching our people that this is the answer. That the flying saucers is taking them back to the wilderness. Why? Why are you so wicked? This thing hurt me to the core. Maybe the Lord knew that I would be hurt. That's why I kept it from me for so many years. I had no idea. I had no idea that these dirty Hebrew Israelite or Yashahelite camps were, were teaching this garbage. I had no idea until four days ago the email came through. If I didn't have that email, I wouldn't know. I wouldn't be talking about it because... I've not seen it. Nobody has said anything to me. But the email that the beloved sent, it was a heartfelt email. And the beloved said, Sister Karen, please do a video about this. She said, it's rampant in the black community, Hebrew Yashahelai community. My videos are shadow banned. I know that for a fact. So the views and stuff like that, then yeah, they will reach certain things. But, you know, um, I do my best. <laughs> I do my best. If you go on these flying saucers, it's not your dead ancestors. It's not black people ancestors, dead black ancestors that's driving this. It's them. It's the fallen angels, the fallen ones. And Elmo, God, that man, my spirit, every time I see my spirit just crawl, this guy is in partnership with them. I told you the first time I did a video about Elmo, I told you, brothers and sisters, that he is going to build a state, he's building state of the art state of the art not no little flimsy stuff proper demonic state of the art this you've got to understand that the fallen angels they need a body to do stuff they need human beings so so to speak underneath their influence to do stuff the lord says i'm going to repeat it one more time you cannot explain this one way you cannot come in the comment section and since i carry you don't understand the bible well the lord has different vehicles mm, really you have to put the bible in perspective and when you do that you will understand where the most high stands nothing new underneath the sun Always remember that. When you're going off track and you think, okay, this don't feel right, don't sound right, always remember there is nothing new underneath the sun. All right, this looks so dark. There's nothing new. Oh, it's my card, isn't it? Nothing new underneath the sun. The Bible says, Isaiah chapter 11, verse 11, and Jeremiah chapter 23. Um, the Bible says that with a mighty hand, I will bring the remnant back again a second time, again a second time, again a second time. First time, no, none of this foolish. So second time, this, this, this is coming. This is real. I want you to understand that, that this is real. This, this is real. It is coming. But the purpose is coming for is very, very wicked. Now, I will do a video concerning white people <laughs> and this. There's a video coming for you, my white brothers and sisters, if you're watching this. Because, yeah, this is about black people. You've got to understand the agenda. Bible says in Daniel chapter 12, shut up, thy, shut up the book, Daniel. Close the book. Knowledge will go to and fro in the end times, in the ending of days. The puzzles are being unraveled. Ahaya is speaking. 
because the deception is very, very real. When I do the video concerning white people and this, I will explain why there is two taken of the, not taken, but why black people being taken is different than white people. That the white people will be taken, don't worry. They're going to be fooled, some of them, white people, and go on this. But their capture is different from black. If black people go on this, they will surely die. Like, yeah, they will be fed on. They will be fed on. You need to watch the movie Pitch Black. That's what's going to happen to you. That's what the Lord says. If they go, if you go on this pitch black, the movie with Vin Diesel, that's coming. That's what's going to happen. So, yes, brothers and sisters, I wanted to come and do this video exclusively and just put it out there. Black people, if you go on that, you're doomed. You're, you're going to die anyways. You're going, you're surely going to your death, especially if you bring your children and your parents and your whosoever. That's been deceived. That goes on these flying saucers. You're going to your death. And um, it's going to be so quick and so fast. You won't have time to ask the most high for forgiveness and, and, and help you. Very sad. But those camps, don't know who they are, but except that one RJ from UCI, I don't know. Black people, dead ancestors driving these. These are fallen angels in these stuff. All right, brothers and sisters. Okay. So if you come to the end of the video and you have not asked. Oh, look at the time. Um, okay. I didn't realize Billy so long. It's going to cut off in a, in a bit. But the sinner's prayer, it's um, in the description box for you. And pin comment section. Please go and read it. If you don't accept the most, if you have not accepted the most style, Go to the description box or the pin comment section. Say the sinner's prayer. So be bold, be strong, <clears throat> be courageous. Walk with a higher, just like Enoch. All praises, all beautiful praises to the most star, higher who lives above the heavens. A higher eternally bless you. I love you all and I will see you soon, someday in glory. Yes, I is holy name. Amen and amen. Let's say the benediction. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise Messiah, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and ever. Amen and amen. Amen. Blessings. Amen.